Did you know that the average man today is smaller? Yes, smaller than his great grandfather. Smaller where exactly? Well, um, while our men have gained in height and weight, they've lost in levels of testosterone, fertility, and yes, that kind of size too. But why is this happening? What changed in just 100 years? And should modern men be concerned? Or is it just evolution doing its thing? Stick around because what we found might surprise you and possibly motivate you to take better care of what nature gave you. Before we dive in, I want to thank you for joining us today. I also want to thank you for your support. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot to us. Thank you. Now, why have our men gotten smaller over the last 100 years? We'll look into the why, but let's start with the what. How exactly has the average male body changed over the past century? You might be surprised. While today's man may be taller and heavier, the deeper story is more complex and a little alarming. From hormone levels to fertility stats, let's break down how male size and biology have shifted in just 100 years. Let's rewind to 1925. The average man in the West. Height, 5 feet 7 inches, 170 centimeters. Weight, 150 pounds, 68 kilograms. Waist size, 32 inches. Testosterone, approximately 750 nanograms per deciliter. Sperm count, over 100 million per milliliter. Penis size, approximately 5.9 inches when erect, according to early Kinsey Institute data. Fast forward to today. Height, 5 feet 9 inches. Okay, a little taller. Weight, 197 pounds. That's a lot more body fat. Waist size, 39 inches. Testosterone, now averaging 300 to 400 nanograms per deciliter. Sperm count, down to around 40 million per milliliter. Penis size, hovering around 5.4 inches, depending on the study. Yeah, our men gained height, but lost a lot more in other departments. So now that we know what's changed, the big question is, why? Why are men today experiencing lower testosterone, shrinking sperm counts, and subtle changes in size across the board? This isn't random. It's the result of powerful forces in our environment, lifestyle, and even the way we eat and sleep. Let's uncover the hidden culprits behind this quiet biological shift. But first, please remember, this video is meant to educate and empower, not diagnose or prescribe. Always speak with your doctor or a licensed medical professional before taking any action based on the content you see here. Talk to your doctor before you do anything, please. 1. Endocrine disruptors, plastics dirty secret. Modern men are marinating in microplastics and chemicals, BPA, phthalates, parabens, all found in our water bottles, deodorants, food packaging. These chemicals mimic estrogen, disrupting testosterone production in the womb and during puberty. 2. Sedentary lifestyle. 1920s men were farmers, factory workers, soldiers. Today, we sit 10 plus hours a day and call walking to the fridge leg day. Low activity equals high fat equals more estrogen equals less testosterone. 3. Diet shift. From whole foods to ultra-processed junk, sugar, seed oils, soy-based fillers, and hormonal meat all wreak havoc on male hormone levels. 4. Porn plus phone addiction. No joke. Constant dopamine hits from porn and screen time are rewiring brains and bodies. Lower libido, erectile dysfunction in younger men, and even smaller testicles over time. 5. Less sleep, more stress. Chronic stress elevates cortisol, which suppresses testosterone. And with most men sleeping less than 6 hours a night, they're running on fumes. To protect your hormones, you've got to detox your lifestyle, starting with what you eat from, drink from, and rub on your skin. Because real men aren't built in a lab, and neither should their food or grooming products. Let's talk about the elephant, or, well, the not-so-elephant in the room. Is penis size really shrinking? Short answer, yes, but not drastically. The perceived drop is real. Several studies from the 1940s to now suggest a decline of around 0.4 to 0.7 inches in average length over 80 years. But measurement methods vary. Early studies were often self-reported, translation, a bit optimistic. Modern studies are more clinical. So is it panic time? Not really. But what is shrinking consistently is testicle size and sperm production. And that's a serious concern for fertility and male vitality. Because the most powerful version of you doesn't live through a screen. He builds, leads, and dominates in the real world. Before we continue, here's something worth knowing. 
If you've been feeling frustrated or even embarrassed about changes in bedroom performance, sensitivity, stamina, or desire, you're not alone, and it's not your fault. There's a 100% natural solution that's already helped thousands of men feel confident and energized again. No pills, no injections, no procedures, no surgery, no risky shortcuts, just a simple, easy home remedy you can make at home. Designed to support what researchers are now calling the manhood molecule, a key factor for arousal, blood flow, and lasting power. Find out more. There's a link in the description. So, what can modern men do? All right, the facts are in. Male, strength, reproduction prowess, and vitality have taken a hit over the last century. But this doesn't mean it's game over. In fact, it's the opposite. Modern problems require intentional solutions. And the good news is, there's a lot you can do to take back control of your biology. Here's how today's man can reverse the decline and start reclaiming his edge. Naturally. Your biology is not a life sentence. You can absolutely reclaim your masculinity, size, and energy if you take action. 1. Clean up your environment. Avoid plastic containers. Use glass or stainless steel. Get rid of parabens, sulfates, and synthetic fragrances in skincare. Filter your water. 2. Eat like a man. Prioritize protein. Red meat, eggs, fish, get healthy fats, olive oil, avocado, butter, eat whole, nutrient-dense foods, skip soy-based junk. 3. Train like it's 1925. Compound lifts, deadlifts, squats, pull-ups, sprinting or intense walking, ditch endless cardio, embrace strength and testosterone-boosting movements. 4. Ditch the dopamine drip, cut back on porn and endless scrolling, replace fake pleasure with real purpose, build, create, compete, 5. Sleep like a king. 7 to 9 hours in total darkness. No screens one hour before bed. Magnesium plus cold room equals testosterone magic. So, in conclusion, what have we discovered? Yes, male size has changed in 100 years inside and out. Our boys are taller, heavier but softer, and slightly smaller. Only slightly. Yes, modern men have members a little smaller than the manhood, menhood that men 100 years ago had. More connected, but more isolated. Freer, but often biologically weaker. But you can change that, right now, by choosing to be the kind of man your great-grandfather would respect, and maybe even fear a little. Now here's where things get weird. Just when we're building a case for shrinking size over the past 100 years, a 2023 study from Stanford comes in and flips the script. According to their findings, the average erect penis length has actually increased by 24% in just three decades, from about 4.8 inches in 1992 to 6 inches in 2021. That's huge, if it's true. Pun intended. So what's going on? Some researchers speculate this increase could be due to better measurement standards, more open reporting, or changes in the populations being studied. Others warn it may reflect early puberty, hormonal shifts, or exposure to endocrine-disrupting chemicals, which are linked to both earlier sexual development and declining sperm quality. In other words, yes, the average size may be increasing, but it might be for all the wrong reasons. Faster puberty, disrupted hormones, lower fertility. That's not evolution. That's a warning sign. So, yes, the numbers might be going up on paper, but ask any doctor, endocrinologist, or fertility expert the overall trajectory of male health is still pointing down, and it's time we started paying attention. If you're ready to reclaim your strength, your energy, and your size, hit that subscribe button now. Leave a comment if you're taking action starting today. Remember, your biology isn't broken. It's just waiting for better orders. Be the prime version of yourself. Thank you for your company today. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care.